But Dr. Adan, just help us understand this. Now, when you're hearing so many more cases of cancer, there are two or three possibilities that I hear talked about. Number one is that, in actual fact, the number of cancer cases is going up and going up very sharply. Uh, environmental factors, pollution, whatever, it, whatever the factors, lifestyle changes. A second possibility is that those cancers always existed, but with detection, we're now finding it out, especially when it comes to let's say something like prostate cancer or you know, thyroid cancer, which maybe early you wouldn't have died of, so you wouldn't have even known that that was happening. And a third possibility is that people are living longer. They may have died of other diseases or infectious diseases or, or star, you know, other, other factors before the cancer killed them. Uh, which of these is true or is it a bit of all of them? I think, Vikram, you have answered the question. All oh, the I three have. factors are important. Because we are living longer, and as we control the other diseases, you know, these lifestyle-related, I wouldn't even call the lifestyle-related uh, diseases. Uh, recently, there was an important statement that cancer is an unfortunate, random accident. It, it's, it's not that people ask me, that why me? I never drank, I never smoked, I'm a pure vegetarian, but why me? Honestly, there's no answer to why me. If you have smoking, if you have tobacco, your chances are going to go up. That's no, no problem. But someone who is, who is young, who, is, who has not done anything, it's a random mutation which has happened. And I think you have been asking this question in your program. And everyone has said that early detection is equivalent to a good survival, a good cure. And I'll make a very categorical statement here. I think you're, you're going to bear with me on that. The Indian expertise on cancer care is superb. We are as good as anyone in the West. The real problem is how do the patients come to us in early stage? You know who can, who can do this for us? You can do this. NDTV well, can do part this. of the campaign is for No, NDTV can do this. The reason is, I'm, I'm just bringing up this. This is what everyone should know. The seven warning signals. Why don't you tell us the seven warning signals? Yeah, okay. There is a change in the ball habit. You know, someone says amoebiasis. No, it's not amoebiasis. It is going beyond a month or two. A sore that doesn't heal. Or a lump which you suddenly feel it's, it's coming up. Or a thickening in the lump in the breast which is now, you know, very well known, a lot of people pick up. Difficulty in swallowing, that you, you, you want to drink a glass of water every time and you're, it's not going through, yeah, that's, that's something which you have to be careful about and a nagging cough or hoarseness all the time. And that's, that, these are the things, and let me tell you one thing, executive checkups, six monthly going for a checkup, that's not the answer for 1.2 billion people. The answer is that if you have these seven warning signals, Okay. Then go for a medical check. Let me just take that for you, and maybe we can get that made into a graphic and put up on the on the screen. Yeah, sure. Uh, seven, this, seven, seven specific warning, signal. warning signals and from Dr. Jagannath. Caution. Keep, it, it's called it, caution. Here's what you need to keep your eye on: change in bowel habits, a sore that doesn't heal, unusual bleeding or discharge, thickening or lump in breast, indigestion or difficulty in swallowing, obvious changes in a wort or a mole, a nagging cough or hoarseness. Those are some of the immediate things that you need to worry about. And they're not my warning signals. Yeah. They're on, on, on American Cancer Society, IndiaCancer.org. These are the WHO warning signals. The world okay. over, this is what we need to see. All right, so that's, that's when you get a little older, these are, and especially some things are there.